Long ago, it is said that the deity Gel Massive Controls roamed the world. She was worshipped and adored by many, but none so deeply as by her most trusted in the village of Lost Peaks. There, at the Shrine of Climaxes, worked a most faithful servant, Sitsu. She was a recent convert of the Sect of Safety, and all too happy to settle down here with her human husband, Muka. They lived happily for many years until one year a thought shook her to her core. She became obsessed with her own mortality and sought to extend her life by any means. She moved on from Gel and began to worship Doru, hoping to find the answers the former could not divine. For the next 26 years, she stayed in Lost Peaks, searching. Finally, with nowhere else to turn, she stormed the Shrine of Climaxes and profaned them. Immediately, Gel struck her down and cursed Sitsu to assume the form of an elk-like monster every full moon. Sitsu frame braves the splattered torch died in year 162 at the hands of the elf Vadane Clearing Sheen. She lives on through the hundreds infected by her curse to this day. This long lineage of infection brings us to Bomrek Road Rains, the lobster of targets. The tiny village of Save Knives, ready to rejoice in the birth of a new dwarf, was rampaged by Sobel Erndive, who bit Bomrek and passed on this curse. Thirty years later, to the day, Bomrek's sister, Uzol Gatemine, was born and another rampage occurred. Uzol was spared, but the village was in tatters. Following in her grandfather's footsteps, Uzol became a fishery worker at the age of 11. When she turned 14, Uzol migrated to the great fortress of Oakcrafts in hopes of a bright future. But what she met was only a dark end. <laughs> it was Uzol and Odivos' rotten corpse. That's disgusting. How do I make someone get rid of it? Welcome back, everybody, to this episode of Dwarf Fortress Stories Oak Crafts. I know I uh, haven't been doing these on a set schedule because I am the laziest person in the world. Uh, we are back for episode three. You may have just seen that uh, we discovered Uzol's body after learning a lot of her history. Um, yeah, that miasma popped up and scared the living daylights out of me because I've heard a lot of horror stories and I was terrified. Um, so that little snippet there is something that happened. But moving forward, we will be playing fresh gameplay and I will be talking over fresh gameplay instead of recording this afterwards. So hold on to your butts. Here we go. Folks, we are back. I am recording this while I'm recording the gameplay. Isn't that incredible? You may have noticed that I have changed the tile set because I wanted to play around with some different tile sets. So please don't get angry with me. I've said this a couple times on uh, some responses to people, especially on our community Discord. Go ahead and join that. Link's in the description. I made another fortress, which didn't turn out so well. Um, but I kind of want to do that as a refresher of everything. So now I kind of remember stuff a lot better. Um, Mebzuth, enjoy manor. You enjoy that manor, Mebzuth. So we're going to walk around. I know uh, I said there was a lot of death and blood in that last one. Uh, I'll try to cut to a clip of that. That's a lot of blood. But I believe what happened was another guy went insane and couldn't have all the things and then uh, killed everyone. So... You know, that's always a good time. So, my headspace today, again, trying to figure out some military stuff. I saw some advice on the last video, so I'll take some of that into account. I know I have expanded into here. I moved a bunch of ores and things. And then I have all of these rooms being built out. Oh yeah, my, my other fortress I made, we ran out of plump helmets. Which, I... They were marked as not to eat them, so they would use them for drinks, but still happened. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is listen to some people's advice. One layer below this. You know what, let's go one layer up. I am going to mine for some iron. A nice long hallway. 
Hopefully nothing's damp. Okay, let me take a look. So I do have a mare. What does my mare require? Needs decent office, decent quarters, decent dining room. Two chests, one cabinet, one weapon rack, one armor stand. So I put the bookkeeper here, bookkeeper here, manager here, manager here. So that means I can put the mayor over here. Do I have any beds? Yes, I do. So we'll make this his bedroom. Ooh, we have options, people. You know, a nice sand pair. And then for an office, there needs to be a... Okay, we need a table. I know there needs to be a chair for his office. Actually, we'll make this the dining room and we'll make this the office. That makes sense, right? And then <clears throat> that's, I gotta check noble stuff again. And then that's where his coffin goes. Hey, Mr. Carpenter. Make me... Should I, make... I should make a stone casket, right? Mason! Yeah, give me that coffin. Azob, why is his left foot here? Oh, there's dead people here. Guys. I don't... <laughs> that, I think this is the massacre that I... I think I recorded, but I forgot what happened. That's a lot of blood. What? is going on there's a badger boar skeleton everybody at least all my sheeps are happy what was that guy's name beb ben burr he's a fisher dwarf wasn't he burr there you are go to unit oh there you are bud let me look at you she is horrified after seeing azob Pictum's dead body she is uneasy after seeing Degel Sword Mob's dead body. She is uneasy after seeing Uzal Gatemine's dead body. Oh yeah, Uzal Gatemine is um, Uzal Anodavas. Which question? So like at the top of the screen is Burr Muses Onal, and then Burr Martyr Mirror. So I'm assuming Muses Honal is the dwarvish, and then the Burr Martyr Mirror is the is that a nickname or is that a translation? Comment section. Hop to it. She is shocked at the unexpected death of somebody. She grieves at somebody's death. Within the last scene, she felt satisfied. Well, that's good. Lack of decent meals. Listen, it's not my fault I'm bad at this game. Oh, so G oh, guys. I've done three episodes of this, and I've played another fortress. G, I assume, means general. Then I, for what they're carrying, guys. For what they're carrying. This whole... I'm sorry, I'm talking too loudly in the microphone. This whole time... This whole time that has been there. P for pref, pref, pregnant. P for pregnant. W for wound guys i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you right now because it is blanked out at the bottom of the screen see down there i'm zooming in on it i thought it meant it, it was unchoosable unchoosable i am however wrong and i'm upset by this regardless i'm afraid this dwarf's going in Experience emotional shock. Listen, this fortress is going to end pretty soon. So we're all going to be experiencing emotional shock. It was built in the last 15 seconds. Okay, let's make this look nice. Um, I know hauling stuff out is bad, but I hate how messy these rooms look. Just, like, generally frustrates me. Is that something I just have to get used to? I feel like it is. I feel like everyone's screaming at me. Yeah, idiot. Okay, doors. Now I need to unpause, have them place the doors, assign this bedroom, assign the burial receptacle, and then add the chests. I think Mr. Mayor should be happy. Oh, I forgot to mention it in my other fortress, which maybe I'll try to get a shot of. 
my mare was an undead necromancer? I think. I need to get a shot of that. It was... When I saw that, I was relatively concerned. Also, I that was on a newer update, so I had a lot of... People wanted places of worship and, like, guild halls. And, like, everyone just spent all their time in there. Nothing else happened. Man, there's a lot going on. Look at all these baby chicks. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What has happened? That was all real time. Ha! Huh. Where? Where's the dead body? This is the end. What a fitting end. Where? I, what? Okay, everyone's gonna say. Yeah. What? What do I do? There's a guy here. Are they dead? No, he's alive. Where's this coming from? What do, do I unpause the game? What do? What do I do in this situation? I have to unpause the game. Is it coming up? Who? Everyone's screaming at me right now. I can hear you, but I don't know what to do. So instead of focusing on the negative things like the miasma problem, we're gonna focus on the positives, and we're gonna put the um containers in here in the two cabinets and the weapon rack wherever that is is that display furniture no might be though a oh, weapon rack R let's put that next to the armor stand Okay, now we can see if the mayor's happy. Yay! He's happy, everybody. Okay, let's go back to the problem of... What was... It? Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's something... In the butcher's shop? How do I look... Q... Uh, you know what? Let's just remove the building. That's filling. Yep, it's just... Now it's going away. You know, kind of just got to work through it. I guess. That must have gotten rid of it, right? Oh, boy. Well, we've solved the mystery of the miasma, which I think was probably something rotten in the butchery, which I don't even understand how those work. So we don't, you know, we don't really even need it. Hey, you caught me pretending to take a poop. If you liked our video, you should like, comment, and subscribe on it. That way, YouTube knows we're awesome. Do it. I gotta wipe.